All right, so the video running behind me right now is from March 7th of 2020. That day, a nonprofit called Code 313 opened its doors to teach computer skills, programming, and coding. They had a mission to close the digital divide. Well, it was the first day the organization had students and also the last. Three days later, COVID-19 shut down everything. So today, Code 313 finally able to welcome back those students. And oh, wait until you see the space that they return to. Paula Tutman is there right now and joins us. This is so long awaited and so excited, Paula. It really is. And this, uh, honestly, there's a cool alert here. So this is the drone cage, and they're trying to get the drone up and running right now. Listen, kids love drones. Uh, this is actually the crown jewel of the program. And what's really important to know about this space is just because COVID shut things down doesn't mean they shut down. They actually kept growing, and they are actually able to scale even faster simply because everything they were trying to head off in terms of lack of access to technology and learning, that actually happened during COVID. They proved themselves out and now they are back and open for business. Are you adding a sound for your dance code? During COVID, Code 313 had a unique ability to bridge that digital divide and help students in the metro area gain access to the only way they could get to school, computers. Everything Code 313 didn't want to happen in terms of plunging children into digital darkness did happen to a lot of kids, but not all of them, in part because of programs like these. You know, the, the technology digital divide was exposed, right? Um, because kids were not able to do the work at home, you know, during COVID. They needed computers. They showed the lack of internet services. Proof of concept in hand during that lockdown, this nonprofit built up. And today, since that first day, March 7th, 2020, welcome children back into learning in a really big way. Good job, good job, high five. High five for both y'all, good job, good job, good job. The brand spanking new Experience Center opened its doors today, a new STEM, STEAM and learning center. Oh! Here we're able to teach how to fly drones and how, again, drones are used in the real world. This is actually set up to show you a setup of power lines and phone transceivers and stuff outside that you, you know, nowadays they fly drones to go and see what's wrong with something instead of sending a person up the pole. With this center, school field trips can put the future at the fingertips of students. There are family game nights, three day winter camp. Here, kids learn how computers communicate. So the foundation of coding starts with I like to tell the kids speaking computer. Coding is like speaking computer, so learning a language or blocks, in this case, putting blocks together in order to create something, a program. Now, if that sounded like a foreign language to you, it's because you don't talk computer. Cameron didn't this morning, but by this afternoon, he did. So student Lee helped him with the code, and he was able to have the basketball bounce up and down perfectly in the player's hand. And it turns out when computer speak is demystified, it still feels like magic. Only the students become the magicians. What most excites me is just seeing that I can make my own thing, really. It really excites me that, I, that other people can help and I can help others. I don't, right? That is so cool. Okay, so these are staffers who are here right now, but imagine this place absolutely filled with children. Now, this is in the Rivertown area of downtown Detroit. Uh, basically, learning is crossing over that digital divide bridge. Again, open to the public. Think about this. They've got a winter camp, a three-day winter camp this holiday season for kids. They are funded. They need sponsors, so they do have some sponsorship funding. But their funding, Karen, comes from their programming, and they've got really great programming. So give me a few minutes. I'll get a link on clickondetroit.com so you can find them and get your kids out of the house and learning something over the Christmas holidays, Karen. I love it. I love it. And, yes, thanks so much for posting that link. I'm sure a lot of people are going to hit that up this afternoon. We appreciate it. Thanks, Paula.